Welcome back. It is way too cold to go to the beach, so today we are bringing the beach to you. Chemical Kim is here to show us how to make her version of magic sand, and she already started playing during the commercial break, so it was hard for me to concentrate. Kim. I can't help this. This, this is, is a this fun, is fun one. Stuff. So, Catherine, do you love water? Well, I, just, playing in the water, anything, yeah. yes. Do you yes. have a Do you have a pet? Have you ever had a dog that just doesn't go towards the water, stays away from the water? No, our dog loves, loves the, the water. water. <laughs> well, I actually had a dog that was afraid. I turn on the hose and he'd run away. So I named him Hydrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> and we're making Hydrophobic, the sand, which seems right. to be fear of Fear of water. water. Right, fear of water. Hydrophilic is if you like water. So, you know, I'm very hydrophilic. I love, I love water. So this is really fun stuff because, you know, as you see what I'm doing with, this is a store-bought product here, okay? And yep. as I squeeze this in here, right, it looks like it's forming some kind of goo right there yes. inside there. What I'd like for you to do is take this, take this right here yes. and just scoop. Just go ahead and scoop. Scoop what you've put in there? What I put in there. And tell me what you observe <gasps> when it comes out. It turns right into dry, dry sand. Isn't that incredible? Kim, that's hydrophobic sand. Fun. That's called hydrophobic sand. And I'm going to show viewers how you can make this using a wonderful compound that, put, that puts a molecule around the sand that does not like water. It oh. repels, just like oil is hydrophobic because oil and water don't mix, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is fun. Really, let's, let's demonstrate what sand normally does. And this okay. is craft sand, which, of course, with the colored sand, you can go to the craft store and get colored sand. Go ahead and just pour it into the water. Okay. And then, sandy, sandy day sandy, at the sandy, beach. Sandy, sandy. Yep. yep. So I'm going to scoop this out, right? And it's wet. Yes. Right? Stays it's that definitely way. hydrophilic. Okay, so we're going to change that to hydrophobic. Okay. The directions for this is so, so, so simple. You do want adult supervision because you're working with an oven and you're working with a product called Scotch Guard. Okay. Which puts the molecules around there that's hydro hydrophobic. First, you want to put some safety glasses on. Okay. Then you're going to take your sand, whether you want to use craft sand, beach sand, dig it out of the ground, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and just spray it on a, on a pan. Okay. That, then that much, Kim? Or about that much. Yeah. Yep, yep, a good amount that will just kind of coat the surface of your pan. Yeah. And then you're going to stick this in the oven yes. at about 200 degrees for about an hour. Okay. Okay. Give it a little shake. Of course, you know, safety... You know, have your parents assist and such. And you're doing that to get any residual moisture out of this sand. Right, right. That's right because okay. if we're making hydrophobic sand, we want that water out of there, right? Good. Right. Yep. So then, after it has dried and cooled down, then you're going to do a couple coats. Go ahead, Catherine. I'm afraid I'm going to blast it out of the pan, but it doesn't blow out of the pan. Exactly, exactly. And I would suggest wearing safety glasses, put protected coating underneath, and then you just spray. And what's neat about this is it does turn dark because it's wet. Okay, yes. very flammable, so you want to make sure you're not doing this near the oven. And then you just do a little shake, and you're letting all the volatiles, everything that's still uh, in the, li you know, the gas liquid to a gas that you want to leave, yes. and leave that molecule that's hydrophobic there. So you just kind of do a mix. Um, I use a little pumpkin scoop mixer to mix up my sand, and you yeah. do a couple sprays of this. Let this dry. Um, I'd say let it dry overnight just to make sure that it is completely hydrophobic, coated with that. Well done. Okay. You're well going to go back, yep. guys, and do this a few times. And this, Catherine, is what I made at home using okay. some colored sand. And here's my home delivery. Okay. Your glue bottle. My glue bottle. And I'm going to, you know, put a couple more quantities in here. And okay. We're going to add that and add that right in there yep, so we can have some fun and then i'm going to let you do some shapes right here to see if i had any success making my hydrophobic sand just spray it right in there catherine and you can see it just falling gobbling flopping down in. flopping yeah. in and as you you could build castles you can build cool castles stuff. exactly you can take a little you know like you said it's still cold to be at the beach but you can be at the beach here in your home and make your little sand you know sand sculptures super and cute switch. and what's also neat is the surface tension of the water you see how that floats on there yes it shows the properties of surface tension of water which you can you know definitely see how water kind of bonds to itself but you put more in there making it heavier more dense and it just sinks right down to the bottom so cool so so cool so much so. science even in in, in fun stuff like this. You can buy it at a store. It's called Aqua Sand, guys. But Kim found by going to Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. and buying that sand and a bottle of Scotch Guard, you can make a boatload of this stuff exactly. for, for a lot less money. So that might be the most. And look, comes out dry. Completely dry. Oh, so cool. Love it. That okay. is so cool. You can find more activities from Chemical Kim on our website at WZZM13.com.